In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the hidden NVIDIA settings, which are available on your GPU to increase your FPS and lower the latency on your any low-end PC and laptops. So hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. But before diving into the video, Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. So first go to my website and download the NVIDIA Hidden Settings and click FPS Boost and Lower Latency Pack. Double click on the zip file. Drag the msiutility.x to your desktop. Right click on the program and run this as an administrator only. Going to be adjusting the settings for our GPU. Scroll down until you find on your the left GPU. hand side on the right hand You'll side. You'll then of see this. a box labeled MSI. You need to ensure that this has been enabled. Once that's completed, go to the top right hand side to apply and exit out. For the majority of settings throughout this we're video, we're going to be adjusting them. on the global driver profile because it practically should be applied all games anyway. For the best results for those of looking you looking for the absolute best FPS possible, we'll now go through a ton of different settings or at least try out on your system to see what your results are like. First of all are the G-Sync settings. Start off with G-Sync application mode. Go down to off G-Sync application requested state. Force off application state. We're going to set to force off G-Sync global feature. Off global mode is going to be set to off. Indicator overlay and support. Indicator overlay are also both going to be switched off. Preferred refresh rate in nearly all circumstances. You want to have this set to highest available. Vertical sync. I'm going to be switching to force off anti-aliasing. FXAA enabled is going to be set to off. FXAA enabled predefined by. In video is going to be set to disallowed scrolling. Down to texture filtering. Anesthetropic filter optimization. Switch to on anesthetropic. Sample optimization is going to be switched on. Anesthetropic filtering. I'm mode. going to be going with user defined slash off. Prevent anesthetropic filtering. I'm going to be switching to on. Texture filtering is going to be switched from quality to high performance and trillionaire. Optimization is also going to be switched on. There are also a few options you can adjust with inside of some games. For the texture filtering, L0D bias here. You have the options for DirectX. Games and OpenGL games setting these two. Higher or lower will affect the graphics with inside of your game. Lower the L0D bias you the better. Use. The visuals with inside of the game should be. But it's a great option to if have. If you want your game to look better, or perform better. As I'm setting up my settings for the highest competitive advantage, alongside the lowest impolitancy and best FPS. Ambient occlusion usage for me is going to be set to disabled. Ambient occlusion setting is going to be switched off. But if you're looking for a small performance up whilst utilizing ambient occlusion, you could go with performance. Next up, for those of you that installed the additional DLSS functionality options earlier on you now have three DLSS features. Multi-display slash mix GPU acceleration. I like to have set to single display performance mode. Even if you have multiple displays, power management mode on the global profile. I'd recommend leaving this set to optimal performance. Next up is the rebar or R bar features. These are settings in which I'd recommend you use across the board if your GPU supports Those it. of you that do have resistible bar GPU, start with R bar feature and set this to enable. Go to R bar options and set this to 1. Then go to R bar size limit. And we're going to set this to 0 by 0. zero 04. Trade a cache size should be set to unlimited. If you do have a decent amount of storage space available in your local disk, C drive otherwise go with 10 gig or 100. If you would like to force off the shade of cache, for any reason you can do so with inside of here, or further customizing the threaded optimizations. But for the most part, I would part, recommend sticking with auto. Another really useful feature I like to go down to is underneath the other sections. Scroll down about halfway until we find the M section, and we're looking for memory allocation policy. I've seen a decent uplift in some games by changing this from policy as needed to policy. Moderate pre-allocation. Inside of the other section, you'll see a ton of different optimization and settings which you can adjust around on your GPU. If you're not entirely sure what something is, I would recommend leaving it alone because it will more than likely break things or potentially cause performance issues. Another option I like to scroll is right down at the to. bottom of the other section and it's variable refresh rate. If you're not planning on utilizing variable refresh rate or GC, I would set this to disabled. If you are on the other hand, I would leave this at enabled. You could see a decent latency improvement by setting this to one limiting your overall through. Put in exchange for better latency, which you would probably want when utilizing VR. If you're someone that likes to utilize lower than native resolutions with inside of some games, an option which could be beneficial to you is in video quality. Upscaling changing this option from off to on actually applies a length source filter instead of a typical bilingual upscaling filter when utilizing lower resolutions which could lead to a better looking image on your screen if you choose resolutions that are lower than your monitor's native resolution and do this by going to NVIDIA predefined uncell usage and switching this to disallowed alongside that you'll need to scroll back up to section no common and go to uncell enabled and switch this to off 
will stop you from utilizing the GeForce experience. Speeches with inside of so, games. So, if you do use clips recording, or you like to have the functionality, you'll need to turn that back but on. But for any reason, you want to turn it off. Once you've adjusted all the settings that you would like to at least try out, go to the top right hand side to apply. Before we close I'm out, I'm gonna though, show you a few other quick options, which I like to set up on a per game basis. For this, take yourself to the top left hand side and type side. in the name of the game you would like to adjust the individual settings for. For me, that's going to be the finals. Once you've typed the name of the game in, select the file which comes up. Start off first of all with the frame rate limiter V3. This is a really quick and easy way to limit the FPS for certain games automatically. Alongside this, if your game is experiencing small FPS drops due to resizable bar support, maybe being patchy, where you can just go to that individual go game, go to resizable bar feature, and switch this over to disabled, or enable. remember at any time, you can import that base profile that you backed up earlier. Or, reset back the settings. Using the green button, everything will be set back to the default value. And values. you'll be back to complete stock functionality. So guys, these optimizations. You need to apply on your PC. In order to get better performance with your lone PC or laptop, I hope that you also love it. So make sure to share your feedback about this. Optimization in the comments section. I hope you love it and guys, see you in the next video.